Hello, 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 welcome. Uh, it's Zenotic Defrag 2024 March World Records. It was a pretty good month. A little bit quieter than the last few that we've had, but it should be picking back up again uh, for April by the looks of things. Top of the board with the first and last record of the month. Riffo, 37 records. Then we've got Shiro, JH, Nero, the Akamali, Woe, Amnesia, Goblin, Nature, Ninja, Infinity... Amino, Malice, Question Mark, Asked You, uh, Dubai, or Dua, Duabi, Source, Thinkpad, Fionki, Kabla, Plaza, Riona, Serpent, Space Nebula, and Robotic. And yeah, uh, we had 181 total records set this month, 144 videos to go through, 108 unique maps, and... Yeah, like I say, Riffo took the first and the last. The first record was set at 8 seconds past midnight. Uh, it's Bug73, which is not the first one we have. Oh, it is. Bug73 P uh, BFG, but we're going to watch PGB from last month first. Last one was Asfag BFG. Again by Riffo. So, yep. Cracking month. Many, many players. 25 players. 108 records. Let's get going through them. Uh, don't have a list of top records except for this one. This one, let's try and get some better quality into YouTube. Yeah, give us at least 1080p. Try. Try at least 1080p. So this one has some mad we I don't know if we've worked it out Riffo called me over to like try and work out what the hell's going on in this next section here gaining speed with forwards we couldn't figure out the angle watching this video and trying to recreate it so if anyone can figure out how the hell this was done uh, please do let Riffo know it was driving him absolutely mad but it's a pretty good record nonetheless using that uh, forwards it's got to be an absolute dead perfect angle but it is an incredible angle that's being had right there it's a good map I got a decent time on this map still no world record from me though Such a nice end. Just a little boom boom. Because you've got to be smooth with it. Like there's a lot of slick where you want to flick as hard as you can, but on that one, because you don't want to actually turn. Nero with his uh over the head flick of a circle jump. Which I may or may not find a demo and analyze a little bit at some point. Beautiful. Just makes it look so smooth after the uh, of a start. It's uh, super smooth. Riff on rockets. This is a good map. That's a good map for learning wall rockets because there's basically no floor. So learning kind of controlling yourself. It's probably a pretty good map. This looks brutal. Nice one, Vert. HP picked up a little bit, actually. Which is pretty cool. Let's find out what settings Mara uses for this, because I've just recorded a frag movie, and his looks slightly better than mine. I don't know if it'd just be super slow to record stuff. It be three and a half hours to get 15 minutes of footage. And that includes, like, being way over. A two-second clip is 20 seconds. Ah, oh, this map. How do you... Ah, oh, that's... Yeah. It's so difficult. To, like, that trick before, getting into the hole at speed, seems easy. It's not. It's not. Oh, 
that's a monster. That's monster, that is. Then, yeah. Fantastic rocketry. Fantastic rocketry. Ooh, that was nice. Something I've noticed about the best strafers is they've re like spacing obviously comes into it a lot, but specifically getting the ramp spacing and figuring out how to get the spacing so you land exactly at the bottom, but then also the angle so that you don't jump higher than you have to. Because you can effectively make a, a ramp shallower by doing it diagonally. Same height, further distance. It's a shallower angle, so you lose less speed while going up it. Nice. I think we'll get a few uh, bug seventy bug type records. I can see just a couple. Ignore the rattling. My headphone cable has decided to unglue itself a little bit. Yeah, I can see a fair few bug seventy three, eighty three. Some good maps. Some good maps. Goblin's an absolute beast on slick. Absolute beast. I just realised the crosshair is actually on. I normally can't see the crosshair because we're watching these like 720 or lower. I assume it probably gets compressed out uh, into my video, but... This is a rough map. You can. This is one of those maps you can actually get ramp bugs while strafe jumping rather than just on the slick version. You can get ramp bugs doing this, which is brutal. It's not as bad as some maps, but it's, there's a few, few possible. Not too bad on that. Every hit. What? You'd never think you'd be able to get a pre run on that. That's that's sick. I think this is the first map of the uh, of the official month. Potentially a couple of those are the ones who are already in there. They're not always in the right order. Really nice. Some of those corners keeping speed on, like you see that it just keeps all the speed, but you have to land that exact BFG shot right in the corner, otherwise it just um, doesn't have it. Oh, Goblin set a record on his own map. Cool, slick Goblin. Yeah, you got to get that bit of that BFG right in the corner, else you lose a lot of speed. Cause some of the corners are over one uh, or over ninety degrees, closing in on one eighties. So, oh wow, the underneath flick. 
absolutely mad. Just so smooth. It's just like, you know, it's just... A lot of calls maps are like that as well. Being... Uh, being super smooth maps. Oh, that was nice. Really nice double jump. Managing to get it as more of a double jump rather than a ramp jump as well. So that it didn't take... Uh, doesn't knock your speed from the ramp. Very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. This map looks like that one out of Quake Champions. Just ignore the fact that apparently my internet can't handle 1080p YouTube these days. Anything through a teleport where you then got to immediately do something technical like that, always so difficult because you've got to make sure that you get the teleporter just right to come out with exactly the same speed. Super technical map, lovely run. Flying with rockets. This is a weird map because you'd think, oh, you're just going to bonk all the time, right? And I know obviously we're watching a, a, a very good run, world record run, so you're not going to see a bonk. But actually, if you just send it on that map, nine times out of ten you don't hit into something or you have the ability to avoid stuff. But you'd think that, like, it'd be impossible to avoid stuff and that sometimes you were just going to hit it. Or you'd be grinding to try and miss it. But no, you tend to be able to... You know, you look up and you aim for the next top of a hill. This map looks cool. Lovely combos. Flick too hard, like the game out. Nice. I wonder if I could find a way to run these playlists in a different program than YouTube. I could run through VLC. It might be difficult to have the music having two VLCs, but... Potentially if I could run them through VLC. Or something like that. Goblin on... Icy. Super nice. I mean, look how he just perfectly gains speed. Th that's just incredible. He's. I did not know that existed. I just do the kind of waiting for you to fall down thing. He's. He's even mastered the art of avoiding uh, ramp bugs. Potentially uses binds. I'm not sure. But oh my god, yeah. We saw this record go last week, uh, last month, I can't remember who to. S was it? Absolute god of slick. But for, for Goblin to come in and just say, nah, this is mine again. This is mine now. This map is absolutely fantastic. Um, really cool map in Quake 3. When you don't just get infinite rockets. Little tiny bit. When you do have infinite rockets. But still a pretty good map.
Lovely job. Yeah, I might have to go back down to 30 FPS on the old stream quality. Getting errors again. For some reason it's alright when I'm playing. Like YouTube actually does use mo Ooh, that was really nice using the ring. I, I assume he intended to do that, at least claimed to have. Using that ring to sort of fling up and get around the corner. Really nice. Ah. So easy to get disorientated as well on these maps. Like, I'd be completely done in that green. Green tube. Beautiful. Beautiful run. Vert cracking at it. Get some slap action on the go. These turns, that's so smooth from Vert. Look at that. Just so smooth. It it looks almost like turn binds. It's that smooth. So, so, so nice. Great run, great run. Ah, the, the best branded map in Zenotic. There's got to be so many different ways to get around this map. That's what I was talking about earlier with that... Um, robotic run one of the first runs we looked at on Ooh, ash yeah baby um you've got to be smooth on yeah baby but there you want to just kind of flick the 90 degree as hard as you can on the slick great speed around that corner and great spacing to land right at the bottom of the slick as well. Nicely shot. I think not quite the timing on that rocket launcher pickup just there, but recovered well. You know, it was not panicked about it didn't quite often you'll see don't quite get the first shot off and then you're just completely in the wrong place for the second or you lose a ton of speed because you press the you expect to be going different direction really good catch on that on that pre-fired rocket that's a really impressive pre-fire to hit a shot like that slick and rockets mad what a run. Nice one there from Ninja. Nice. I mean, I can't even talk about this map. It's just... It's so different from the way that I play these maps because just jumping over everything and just going for it rather than almost I have to play like the traditional Minecraft way. It's such a different way. Problem. 
playing a classic strafe map here though with lovely ramp bugs anyway oh you can get that without actually wow Akamoli, a surprise uh, me and Des were having a look through overall rankings the other, the other week and Akimoli is kind of a surprise turn up in the relaxed running specifically for how high he is. It's not the lack of world record you see him often. The fact that the point system rewards you for getting records on maps where others don't have records or the record is very strong and for being better than others. And the only reason we can think Akamali is so high is that he's got records that no one else is able to touch but that quite a lot of people have played like potentially that uh, Bug 73 but incredible records Stone Run 3 easy apparently this is considered easy the easy one Let that sink in while uh, everything buffers. Apologies for the buffering. It's, uh... Yeah. because no matter what I do when I'm doing these videos, YouTube buffers. Yeah, that's me. Really. You can barely even see the things that he's got to try and jump to. Absolutely incredible. Incredible record. Just jump. Really good quality records. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, beautifully done. Wow, 0.32 behind anyway. Oh, that, was a, that must have been a, a ridiculously good end, like comparatively straight into that teleporter. Because it can't be a full, because that would be way more than a second and a half, or nearly two seconds even. That could have been a full. But yeah, wow. Well, really, really nice. No, we don't buffer. Let me show this to go slow mo. Ridiculous section that. Even with some pixels, you don't know where you go. Really nicely done there from Jake. Always a good re record. Yeah. 
Australians are back though. Mac Mac making his return a couple of months ago and now nature. Really nice. Beautiful. Perfectly at the top and the bottom of that down ramp. Just clipping both ends of it. Super smooth as well. Just gently floating everything. Oh, nicely done, managing to not lose, uh, well, lose quite a lot of speed, but certainly not eat the up ramp. It's going to get really difficult to do that. You could see Nero moving much more than I think it was Amnesia that we already had uh, seen on that map. Nero moving a lot more diagonally for the extra speed. So slowly you go faster, but have to go further. Beautifully done. This map, CPM3, CPMA3X, absolutely nothing to do with CPM3A. But I do get the feeling it might be impossible in BQ3. Nicely done. Taking that record back from Ninja. I don't skip like large chunks to buffer. Now we're really down in the weeds with some low quality. Consider watching this on like a third monitor. Uh, or your phone sat on your desk while you play Defrag. Because, yeah, quality's probably not coming back. I'll give it a little bit of buffering time. But, yeah, I can barely even Even from here, I can barely read it. Ooh, come back a little bit. Great slick here, just cutting the corners that little bit, but not losing any speed off of it with the airtime. Really nicely done. And now we see, has Riffo managed to figure out strategy for that, uh, that tactic that uh, Infinity was using. This is that map at shit all frame rate. I mean, I did this. I really, really apologise <laughs> for anyone watching this and trying to enjoy it. Mm, maybe. 
BB. No, that was the wall that he did it on. Yeah, it looks like Riffo's just going with the face backwards. Yeah. Managed to get great speed out of it, though. And beautifully done. Great record to take back. Unless actually that was that potentially was set before. So if that record is faster, I can't remember when the other record was set. It's been a while since I set these. Since I uh, made this playlist. Triple nade and rocket. Or double nade and rocket. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Here's a glitched map. Run, run, run till you get to the end of red and then smash into the first green tree that you see. What are you doing? Smash into a red... Yeah, smash into a red tree. <laughs> it w works because it's a frag system and checkpoints automatically reacquire in Zenotic because we don't have the frags that tell them to stop acquiring. So it just acquires frags and checkpoints and there you go. There's no finish line. Absolutely mad from Akamoli. Look at that, beautiful. Great run. Great run. This is part of Climb World, huh? This doesn't look that bad. You know, this is fairly late into Climb World. You definitely don't have to go that fast. That's in incredible. But, you know, it doesn't look too bad overall. I remember this map being brutal for having tiny little sticky outy bits. So you've got the obvious ones with the wooden posts holding everything up. But just little things in the corners where you're rubbing up against a wall and they can catch you. Oh, really nice there. Lovely, lovely work. Shiro, bring it to the ass bag. And, okay, so I think it is just this map and the green that's breaking my computer because I haven't seen the C CPU's now gone up to. We we're sitting at 30% on that last map and on most of the other maps. So about reasonable. So it's about 45% use. This is just by OBS though. Using 45% of my CPU. Job games don't use that much of your CPU, huh?
Yeah, it's cross 75%. I just saw there. Just just OBS using 75% of my CPU. Brutal map. Uh, nice, gets much better fall down on that section. Oh, that's a really nice climb. It, the fact that he, he's just looking straight down, like almost, you just know where you're going in that situation. Really nice. Ah, little bit of catch up on the corner in the end, but eh. Pretty, pretty clean run overall and very good for the length of it and the tricks that are incorporated and the fact that we're now starting to see runs on that sort of length of map where players just know where they're going instinctively so they can keep looking at rocket angles and just hold that instead of looking where they're going and having to, you know, look where you're going to strafe. Incredible. Then you got the opposite of that source, the kind of guy to play no weapons on weapons maps. And beautifully done. Shame we can't ultra shortcut it. This map's got some pretty big shortcuts though with the weapons. So you get every weapon, but you get every weapon in an infinite amount of, and the Devastator slash Rocket Launcher is the most impressive and most useful. Oh, we are actually going to see some non-Devastator use. Yeah, so you can just look straight down at the right angle and just set off up that wall. That's a... Uh... Ah. Huh. Don't often see that. Quite often... We've seen players just just continue using the Devastator. But that is a super sick use of that from Akimoli. Nicely done. Greasing it around that corner. And only up after a minute, only up by just over half a second. That's how little time there is in this now. 4,000 ups trying to strafe just that little bit. Every time dropping below 4,000 ups, probably going to go for a rocket. Oh, that's... That's got to be so, like... You're just flying and there's not really much you can do. But big time save coming out of that, so that's got to be something. Surely it's got to have been a bit in that, and that kind of just fly and hope that your speed is right to land on the place, because you're just going to aim. You can't see around the corner, so you've just got to aim roughly, and then adjust it left or right a little bit to land on the exact right place. But abs oh, that was beautiful as well. Such good rocketry. But the strafe control also comes into this, not losing the speed from the rockets while you're turning the corners. Beautiful playing, beautiful playing. That was so clean. Just all the all the forwards rockets that are just like yeah, you're about to touch down. Nah, don't do that. Huh. Was this a new map? Because... Surely it wasn't. I'm just interested because... The, any map that starts like that, you can jump off the back of and kind of... Circle around the back and get uh, a much better circle start. Because you can just keep gaining speed around the back of the of the start block. But Jay is just jumping straight off the front of it. Oh, that 
That caught so well. That was almost as if it actually exploded by making contact with the player. That was such a good uh, rocket stack there. Unlucky spacing. Very 50 to 100 more units a second. If it's doable, you'll get uh, get straight down that hole with the spacing. Although it's rockets, so you can potentially. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't be that much spacing. It would just be point the rockets up, point rockets down, kind of thing. Vert practicing individual segments of climb world. Wonder what he's got planned. This was the part of Climb World I gave up on though. I got to about here and that was it. I just kept getting to there and couldn't get any further. It's insane to watch someone do this. It's just pure control. One day I will complete the totality of Climb World. But today is not that day. This is a weird map because you'll spawn randomly on one of the two sides. So you'll see quite a lot of the time with these records. Uh, respawning a few times to try and get make sure that you get the side that you enjoy. Save yourself one. Uh, one strafe transfer. One side switch, pretty good. <laughs> Beautifully done. Smore. love the colouring of this, the like prismarine blocks in Minecraft. Oh, that was so nice. Onto the down ramp and then getting a double jump out of it. So, so clean. I'd never even think of looking to what, you know, looking at that at all. Surf maps in Zenotic. Apparently not. Apparently we're just going to strafe the tops of them once we get enough speed to do so. Madness. Live world record on Cool Hasta 4. This map's incredible. It's meant to be a PGB map, so plasma ground boost. You shoot the floor with the plasma and you get a few seconds of slick. Instead here, we don't have plasma ground boosts so people gain speed by using the wall at the start but then it's faster to strafe once you've done that so the actual map is strafe the pre-run is weapon Beautiful. Beautiful. Record from Astu. Now my buffering buffering is buffering. What the fuck is going on with this? Let's let you buffer. Come on. Load up a bit of the map. And don't you dare do that thing you do sometimes where you just like... Yeah, look at that. Undid the buffering. After you've reversed it, it goes and undoes the buffering. Like, no, you downloaded that. I'm not out of RAM. 
Again, apologies for the quality drop. But a good run here. Great run. A lot of bug seventy three this month. This one backwards with a rocket launcher. Nicely done. What a map. This bit and this bit's probably my favourite part from that bit where bonk in the head. You can't even see uh the bits that are being avoided in certain sections and it's just like aiming for one bit, knowing that you're hitting it and just going boom boom boom. I, I like this map as well. Really technical strafey start. Get yourself over here, hit the down ramps, get some good speed. Then you're going to come to the back of the corner. Yep. Really not helpful, YouTube. You yeah, come to the back of the corner, get yourself a grenade launcher. Oh, really nice. I haven't seen that before actually using the grenade launcher or I don't remember it using the grenade launcher for speed and using the double jump to get up rather than using the grenade launcher to get up and gain height but yeah it makes sense Nice. Smooth by Nero. Go go for a break. Come back tomorrow on the stream, but uh, hopefully the jump isn't too severe. Okay, we're back and hopefully that wasn't too much of a jump. Going to take a quick look at Nero's circle jump. Because I was told earlier that a circle jump is just the same as slick, except slick you just keep doing it. Which implies that... Um, this player does circle jumps with just AD, without the W, without plus forward. Which I did try, you can do it. You can do it. There's a different sort of technique to it, but it's, it probably could come out at the same uh, same speed. Interesting if anybody knows what you can do. But yeah, hopefully less lag on that on this run. Uh, some more Nero records. I mean, look at the precision on the strafe. It's about all we can really look at with certain sections of these runs. But there is some incredible precision. Just absolutely maximum acceleration. This route is so clean. So beautiful. 
All the quick grass maps are really nice for this sort of thing. Just being really smooth, really clean. It's nice. It's very nice. Full weapons map, so we should see what we saw Akamoli doing earlier with the uh, with actually using multiple weapons. Riffo might, I'm not sure if there would be a position to do it, but Riffo's the kind of guy who could work out how to include uh, an alt fire on the grenade launcher and make it land in the correct place for him. But I don't know if it would be worth setting up. He, um, you know, it's mostly seen at the start of runs, but potentially there's somewhere on this map that you could feasibly get it in. Bit of a different style here. Riffo choosing to more use the rockets to turn around and redirect the momentum, bouncing them off the back wall where Akimoli was strafing quite hard. Uh, to get round, I'm supposed to remember this is like three days between the recordings, but I'm feeling better. I was not having a good one that time, so apologies for the end of the last recording before we cut into this, but we're back. We've got some fantastic records. That was clean. And he's going to get some rockets. For some reason I remember Akamali not pushing rockets down this tunnel. Or one of the tunnels. Nicely done. Nice. You'll think that one where he nearly hit his head. You probably shit yourself when that happens. I would. Because it's not the sort of map that you've got precisely planned out. Ten seconds on this one, you've probably got it precisely planned out. You know you're either going to hit it or you're going to bonk. And that's fine. You've got the route precisely planned. But on that one, it's uh, towards the end of that. You're much more vibes based. This is a crazy map. Keeping the speed around these corners. Like, watch the speed out. It just doesn't drop very much. Uh, and these are some seriously sharp corners. But Shiro's got these flicks absolutely on. Like, a tiny bit of lag there that just makes it look like robotic. Just. Absolutely incredible. I think we can officially count that as a weird map. Don't quite know it enough to comment much. An FR cut map. Beautiful double stack straight into the Hagar. Very, very nice. Very well comboed. And this map takes weapons away from you. Ooh, we do like that. Very good record. That's pretty polished. Very nice from Kabla. This, oh, this is just as parts. I 
This is a tricky one because you get that rocket launcher at such a kind of a weird point. Beautifully pushed. Oh, I remember playing this the other day. It was a weird one. I was playing this map. Well, I went up those stairs. Better actually watch this route. Wait, what? A what? Okay. Quite a difference, but honestly, you're coming at it with a lot of speed. That was beautiful just there. Okay, that's certainly something with a route, isn't it? Nicely done up that up ramp. Well, I was going to talk about the fact I was watching a video on um, Counter-Strike's Aztec and how it's become now ancient uh, and similar textures to that. Oh, that was nice. That was nice off the wall. Using the curve of the wall to redirect the momentum. Very, very clean. I realise you can do that on the new Error Walk in dual mode. Uh, at the Red Armour. You can fling it round. CTS style. It's very nice. That was the insane run, JH. Up, uh, I, wonder, I can't remember the name of the map. The one that looks a bit like Aztec, but there's quite a lot of them that do. <laughs> Oh, this is a map I like as well. Nice step up. Still haven't been able to get that. I have I feel like I've kind of maxed myself not getting... If we go back... That possibly a bit far. Uh, so, coming through here, that was nice. On here... The these black bits that is a bounce pad but you want to get a double jump off of the side of it still haven't been able to get the spacing quite right for that and I feel like I'm max taking the bounce pad I need to get Morrow's config off of him for this. For XUWC stuff. Really do. <laughs> How many ramp bugs do you get doing that then? <laughs> None? What the fuck? I get ramp bugs doing the crouton version of this, going up the ramp. Oh shit. I just played it with 60 net FPS. Fair. I need to do something about binding net FPS. Toggles and stuff. I've now... Yeah. I feel like it'd have to be something on a different... That I can hit with my thumb or something. You don't want to be taking your hands off the strafe or the slick to get to it. But I'd also forget what my net FPS is and probably flick it over to something. I did it for a slick map. People were saying, I'll oh, just go one net FPS. So I did. And. I played for a week. 
Well, not quite that bad. I played for a couple of days before I was like, wait, did I ever even change that back? Why does this thing feel weird? Why does this not quite work? It's a really clean run. Just consistent speed gain. I believe the last run that we saw was a bit of a fucked ending. Yeah, that's a good end. Very nice run. Very, very nice run. I like these combo maps. I like that we're getting more combo maps being played. One day I might get good enough to actually learn HP. Also, is it just me? Or are the tails of these videos getting a little bit shorter? I feel like it's now just recently, in the last couple of videos even, cutting to the end of video thing a little, just a hair earlier. Like you used to be able to see things, because um, you used to comment quite a lot, Shiro will set a world record, immediately reset, and start another run like he didn't even set a world record half a second ago. Just feels, you know, I've probably watched over a thousand of these videos now. This has been a year. It's been. Hey, the longest running thing I've actually managed to keep up as long as you ignore the fact that I stopped doing it for six months and had to catch up, but. There may be a reason I did it monthly instead of weekly. nice that was super clean I've been watching a fair bit of surf gameplay recently and some of that isn't even that clean hey John Ash Barada I don't recognize this one that's nice Nice bit of map flow. Yeah, I really don't recognise that. I like those. Double jumps just after I hate. <laughs> so you've always got the wrong spacing. And just eat them. That's cool as well. Oh, and that is a nice finish. Oh, it's that slick map that I said was weird. Well, now I've seen it once. It's one of those slick maps where you have to do strafing at one point. You leave a slick and then you just do the strafing and it gets you the right spacing which honestly I think are a fluke but you know happens Ninja player I'm fairly sure has some of the best AD movement a lot of the records from Ninja have been very much like this very AD movement heavy and turn heavy 
rather than strafe. Yeah, you watch a Nero demo and absolutely bang on the pixel edge of perfect strafe. Uh, yeah. Ninja isn't, but is very precise with the turning. It gets very, very nice lines, keeps all the speed. This is just an insane map, like I said before, it's uh, it's not a map I could really even, the, you know, the way I play it is completely different to the way that it gets played there. Another Bug 73, this time backwards with rockets. I think we have had one of these this month already. Oh, nice, good height. Good height from Jack. Smashing it across the line, nearly a whole second off of the previous best run in that session. Really good. Riffo taking this record back from JH though. Oh, that was so good into that turn and that last turn. Really nice. Probably most of the time made up there on the end. Here's that record we looked at right at the start of the uh, of the video. Gonna be some precise. Just, I don't know how it's done. I don't know. Just holding W, looking at some angle, and brrr, speed. Incredible. Yeah, really nice. Really nice run there. World record from the admin himself. I hope. I hope that's more. Otherwise, I'm an idiot. So a tricky map. Then that that through that tunnel just looked easy. Through this corner, easy. It's easy when you get it well. But if you're anywhere but perfect through it. You either lose a ton of speed or you hit into something or you spin out. There's a million things that can go wrong, but when it goes right, it looks so good. And that's something we've got to remember always. I forget it as well, and then I go back to playing. I'm like, what? Why is this hard? Uh, this game's a lot harder than it makes out when you're just watching perfect world records with some chill music behind them. And some idiot British bloke talking over them. Beautifully strafed here. Nice. Precise trick no one's done on Blue Town. Oh no, we're already getting pre runs. Oh dear. Nice round the other side of that pillar though. Keeping it smooth. Ooh, little cheeky step up there. Nicely done through the tunnel. 
Oh, very nicely through those pillars. Tricky way around that pillar, though. Very nicely done at the end there. Tricky way around, but didn't lose speed from it. Or get uh, bad spacing. Yeah, send a bit of something of what you mean. Take a look at it, see how record could be improved. Nice. Okay, go back and watch the Blue Town wreck after this one. They're definitely getting shorter at the end though. Blue town, blue town, blue town, there we go. So 4.6 here. Through the window. So after the window, all the way to seven seconds. So one micro switch. Ah, so if you're very precise, you can go from the window just here. I suppose you've got to come a little bit wider. Ah, you can't really get much wider, but yeah, if you're very precise, you can go and hold on. I think that's a case of getting to this point of being maxed out and then you're just gonna have to uh commit <laughs> go for runs and commit isn't it i suppose once you're there you're there go for runs and commit that's all you can do yeah This, yeah. Gotta be honest, didn't know you could miss most of those and still get them. I have always aimed at them properly. Yeah, that would be a sick record if someone gets it though. And like, I, if you do get it. Please tell me and remind me of this bit so that I can point it out. Because otherwise, it's one of those things that just you don't notice. It's just that's how the run is. You don't notice how absolutely insane these runs are. I mean, this one, we've only just watched it. Ruffo's just got an extra rocket in there. Yeah, Quake. Doom's just had its 30th anniversary last year. Quake coming up for its 30th just over two years' time. Akamoli taking this one back from Riffo. So Akamoli had its start of the month, then Riffo. And Akamali grabbing it back. Good fight on the good fight on a long map. Taking three seconds uh, off of the record now. If someone can somehow pre-fire that, that'd be insane. But I wouldn't even be sure if it was possible. Interesting route there. Again, we see Akamali going for more of a strafe hard, 
turning approach rather than off the walls. A little bit more off the walls here, but yeah, Riffo was definitely just almost bowling straight into the walls and using rockets to turn, whereas Akamoli is uh, turning and then using rockets to continue. Too fast for shooting rockets now. 4,000 units a second. Able to get to the next platform. Beautiful. Nicely done. Nicely done. Great rockets, those last three. Really connected. I know it's a long run, but imagine if in that last room you could get a rocket up rather than going off the side. Probably be quite a long time till we see that, but if it's doable. I'm sure it will get done eventually. Really nice end. Great run from Akamoli. Well deserved record take back. Jesus. That's just a silly record. Swap that grenade launcher for Nex. Or even shotgun or, you know, something fairly small shot that you can't just shoot on the floor. Nicely stacked from Riffo. That was such a fast catch and straight up in the air with the Hagar. <sighs> little bonk, little bonk, but very good, very good. Pre-run on this is really cool. Uh, so yeah, this the other week he came in, I was playing Defrag, that was in Quake 3. This is Xenotic, it's a very similar-ish game to Quake. I wouldn't call it a clone, because there's no reason to clone Quake. There's some games that are very much close to clones, um, but I wouldn't put this into the clone category, because there's so much different with it, which does a little bit sound like Copium, but the maps, the movement, the uh, weapons are very different in the way it plays. Compare that to something like Warsaw, which has rebalanced Quake 3 weapons and is basically CPMA, which is just a mod but standalone with a little bit extra. Uh, but yeah, it's very similar to Quake. Plays on the Quake 1 engine, a very heavily modified, of course, Quake 1 engine. And this is the racing mode in it. Really? The rockets? So you get the choice back there. We can go back. So, strafe style, rocket style, or slick style. Slick style is literally just the little room here. Is slick. Strafe style, you get haste. And rocket style, you get a rocket launcher. So only that little platform that we've just come through. That's slick, that's it. Um, I honestly thought that strafe style would be the fastest because you get haste the entire way. You get haste all the way. In fact, I think there's, yeah, so, wow, there's no rocket launcher ammo even there. So you've got no rocket launcher ammo, but yeah, it's still the fastest to pull a rocket launcher out. That is surprising to me on that map. May have to remember that and ask Shira about it. Live world record on Cool Hasta 1 by Woe. That'll be in the video next week. Maybe. <laughs> if you don't go break it. I oh, set it set it and immediately changed map, so he's clearly happy with that time. It's a good time. Good time. This is a crazy map. 
I've heard only absolute strafe stars can beat it. Yeah. If you're thinking of Counter-Strike B-Hop, this is quite different. Um, we don't have to break our faces to do them and wiggle all over the place but yeah that I mean that map's just insane it looks so easy to just land on every star but honestly if we could press tab and see the scoreboard and see the number of deaths it would it would probably well probably show a different story there's always that one time where somebody literally logs on sets world record but they tend to have been playing the map a bit the day before. Yeah. Oh yeah, just at the speeds they're going. I mean, you can see the units a second. Normal walking speed is 320 or 360 units a second. At the top of my head, I actually can't remember which one. I've got a feeling it's 320 in this and 360 in the regular game. But the regular game's capped the regular game of Xenotic rather than the speedrun mode that we're playing here complete the stage CTS race mode defrag whatever you want to call it uh, regular D regular Xenotic is capped at 900 units a second after that you'll stop accelerating you can get over it by using rocket jumps but of course you're probably going to take damage in most modes you're going to take damage from the rocket jumps um, but yeah your regular sort of running you can't get past 900 speed 1,000 is kind of boring, run-in-the-mill speed. We talk in thousands. You know, 1.7 ups is 1.7 thousand. This is so precise though. To hit these walls at just the angle and get the timing on the rocket just the right time so that you don't slow down. Madness. Super precise stuff. It really does look easy though. But I assure you, if you think it's easy, try it. You know, just a little bit getting hung up on there, but really fast through there. Really nice and brilliant end. This map from the 2021 Quake Live World Cup. Which somehow I didn't even know was going on when it happened. The only reason I knew it even happened was when I first played this map or one of the other rounds um, in Xenotic. Like two years later. Uh I feel like there's no point in making a Quake Live World Cup because the mapping tools are the same as for Quake 3 and you might as well, you know, play a real game. They auto jump would be nice. If there was a Quake Live tournament I'd play it. I've got Quake Live installed. I'd have to actually set it up properly, but... I'd play it. Nicely done. Snapsos don't even bother me now. Especially with Excel Hood. 
Like, I understand them now. I think that's the thing. They... Without Excel HUD, I had no clue what was going on, but now I even understand them with just the regular snap HUD. It's, it makes sense. Al said to me once, he said it's easier for him to strafe in snap zone than it is outside of snap zone when he was playing things like Reflex Race. It's easier to strafe snap zone because you don't have to be so precise hanging it like watch vert here he's just hanging it on the edge of that green bar yeah i don't understand snap zones fully and i certainly am not going to be doing the crazy sort of snap zone things but in terms of general strafing just pointing generally at uh at the right strafe part to gain the most speed definitely can do that for me mostly it's actually the non strafe maps and remembering to jump because with everything going on forgetting to jump when you're doing rockets and then forgetting like i'm going to go through hell with remembering everything you have to do to rocket jump in tf2 rocket jumping you've got to crouch then click then jump all in the right timing and then you'll soar Yeah, having to hold jump for as low time as possible is absolutely brutal and stupid and should be removed. But uh, no one's going to do that and it's going to transfer into momentum mod because... My realism or something? I don't know. Apparently there's skill to doing that. To timing those sort of super humanly impossible to time things. crazy map I might go try beating all of the Kota race maps at some point apparently you get turned purple in the discord for it that and uh R7 Climb World. Might try beating them both. Floating warp zones are so weird. They're so rare because everybody obviously boxes them in to make them just look like a wall. But when you see them just floating there with no box around them, they're so weird. Nicely done though. Very nicely done. this yes it is so i do have some experience on this map railgun shoots actually be bugged and soft lock the map fucking hell is that a case of no because kota's maps are made for zenotic i was gonna say is that a case of um button priority things in quake 3 but no kota's maps are actually made for zenotic so it shouldn't be
That was so smooth up those two side ramps. What? Oh, 200 ups loss. And I'm like, yeah, it's so smooth. This is going to be a good. Oh, in the A turn. Oh, dropping down. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can drop down there. Oh, nicely done at the bottom there. Very, very nicely done. Whoa, taking back the LVP mostly left. The old, new, new map. Ah, beautiful slick. I had a look at my Ash Yeah Baby, because I recorded it for a video. Saw it in slow motion, and as I come to the end, after the last slick on that map, I... It, in real time, it looks like a strafe. But when you look at it in slow motion, you realise that I strafe flick, but never actually press A or D. I'm just pressing W and looking left and right. And I would have been better off just fucking pointing it straight to the finish and holding W. But oh well, probably wouldn't have even saved a, a tenth or a hundredth. Nicely done. Beautifully done. Yeah, maybe 100th. What I probably need to do is get it into my head that it's okay to hit the wall at the end. Because... Just... Something in my head about any wall that looks non-solid that I'm going to get snagged on it. Because in Pew Pew maps, you will. But in Defrag maps, they will be clipped smooth so that you can run along them. Yeah. He's got a couple that haven't been. That um, bumpy off, was it? I think he did the flat one. Flat colours. That one's not got a pre-run, has it? Because it's too much of a small box. Vert does have a superior tolerance for pre-runs and stuff like that though. I, ca I literally, I just can't do it. I hated even uh, 2022 first map of XDWC Mirio's map. The fact that Everything came down to getting at least, I can't remember what the exact number was, 560 circle jump? Something like that. No shortcut? I am not able to comment. Yeah, even that, I couldn't do it. Well, I could, but <laughs> I forced myself to for XGWC, but it broke me. I was broken after the first map on that one. Brutal. That's insane. And we're going back again. Riffo taking a two seconds ish off of Akamoli's record on this one. Back and forth and back and forth. I am going to have to open up. The don't need that. Uh, the spreadsheet. That one. Take a look at this. It is literally back and forth. Akimoli has it at the start of the month with a 2.26.98. Riffo, what, 
1686. Akamoli with a 2 15 26. I've got to do maths on these, they're in seconds, not minutes. Riffo takes it back with a 2 11.2. Then Akamoli with his uh, with a run for a 2 80. 208.78, the last run we saw then. Riffo takes it back uh, a few days later with an 89, but it doesn't last the full day. Uh, sorry. 207.89. Akimoli takes it with a 207.86.03 on a two minute long map. And then Riffo sets this one a 206.66. 666 in the number. Set late in the month. 12 hours exactly. At least when it was uploaded to the servers, which are every 15 minute runs and after the map's finished. But two hours exact, uh, 12 hours exactly after Akamoli set that. So the last three haven't been on. But that's an incredible back and forth between those two. Very well played between them. Akamoli and Riffo. Really nicely ran. This map's gone back. Ah, uh, sub two minutes is on. Fair play. It's been mad seeing the improvements though. And just some of the smaller things, like the first record we saw you got to a, a Hagar up point and I can't remember whether it was the first run which was Akamali or yours, but one of the very first runs, and possibly both of them, stopping at the bottom and then then going up like almost like a, a full-on setup. Not a very long one, but like now it's in mid-air, pre-firing the shot anyway. So, and they're the improvements that are like easy to see. Plus Akimoli taking your route, because at the start on that at the very end where you're just going round and round in circles, you from the start have been doing very much on the rockets, whereas Akimoli's been doing um, like strafing round the corners, trying to actually turn them rather than just shooting rockets at the wall to get the speed off of it. Whereas you just literally go straight into the wall <laughs> and shoot a rocket and then just that's how you turn. I think Akimoli realised you can do that without losing speed. You don't have you just kinda of have to redirect your direction a little bit. But you don't have to try and actually get round the corner. Whereas you're just going at it like a DVD uh, overlay thing. Like boom, boom, boom. It's a good map though. I like the the combo ness. I like the fact that it's you use all the or well, you use most of the weapons. Hey, here's a computer ruiner. Oh no. This run's still not clean. Alright, see you Riffo Chish stopping by. Yeah, it's probably going to take a while for this run to get anything close to clean. Because there's so many possible cuts, like just like this. How does he do it with the pointing in front of him? That's a, another pointing in front of him thing. This time with the, uh, with the BFG instead. Yeah. Either he's using 
shortcuts or he's using the BFG so much better because nah it, he's not ramp buggy he's just hitting um, Shiro and Riffo have both ran this map it was in the other stream in the first half of the demos Shiro and Riffo both ran through that clean but Infinity's been using the BFG a little bit better, I think, across the whole across the board. And with a couple of shortcuts. I think he used pull, Crylink pull in a couple of places, which uh I didn't spot in the other two's runs. Yeah, that one went back and forth a little bit. But it's yeah, you can see it's not clean. I think Infinity just added a couple of cuts, a couple of diff a little reroute, a little bit of a shortcut. Because the other two's runs looked cleaner, if anything. It was a few days ago, so my memory could be failing me, but they definitely did look cleaner. Kota's maps are so good. Really, they are. Like, where else do you see the Instagib vaporizer getting used? If you want some maps that will truly never be portable to any other video game ever. More of this, I say. More stuff like this. I really liked it when Ash put the um, the mines into XDWC. And you had the mine laying thing. More stuff like this in Xenotic specific maps. Make it so we can nick all of their maps and they can't nick ours. It's a very dark map. Hell yeah, warp zones in XDWC again. Oh, that's it. Right. Where were we then? Aha. So we have one more day to go through of records. Check out Mario's channel. It's a good channel. Thank you very much to everyone who set records this month. Thank you for your videos. Thank you for everything. It's been wonderful. We've got a good few records lined up already coming through for us. Uh, yeah. More of that. Bit of that. A bit of that. Yeah, a bit of that. There we are then. great month for everybody here's to many many more thank you very much for watching uh if you have the ability to and you have spare income consider donating towards the servers if not enjoy the servers get on them uh links down links have been on screen all day uh <laughs> all stream um and there will be links in the description to everything that you need. Come check me out on Twitch. If you're still watching this far, then surely you can put up with some more of my shit. Twitch.tv slash Amex Craven. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next month. Some more records. Or if you like Pew Pew, want to upload a few dual commentaries and a frag movie and stuff like that. See ya. <laughs>